All right, here is the inside portion of my Chrysler New Yorker. The mileage stopped working, but the speedometer still works. There's not too many more miles added on top of that because the car's been parked mostly since it's been since that messed up. Because I got something else to drive. The uh, the top of it is kind of falling, but there is some pins in there. Probably get a couple more, put more up in here. But I know there's a glue that you can get to fix this. The mirrors in it, both of them have the lights. Uh, cup holders that pull out both sides. As you can see, the seats are in very, very good condition and they're very comfortable with all this padding on it. The only other damage that's inside of here is that you can see the wood grain piece on that door. This one doesn't have that. It's just all silver. But the seats adjust with this right here. Just go forward, backwards, up and down. And then you also have these switches right here. That raise the seat in the front and back. And then you have another switch on the side that goes, that leans it back and forth. Oh, and there's a little gas thing. Um, it does have a cassette player. Air condition does not work. Which push auto to turn that on. And it's like a thermostat. You can like choose. Oh, that's fan speed. You can choose temperature of wherever you want. The two right speakers don't work. That one and the back one, they don't work. But the two left ones, they work all right. There is a lot of floor room. See, and everything's power. All power windows. And here's the back seat. I'm five foot ten, and I can sit my legs out pretty comfortably. The upholstery's falling back here too. But everything in it works on the inside. As you can see, no stains, no rips on either seats, including the back seat. No stains, no rips. Even has the older seat belt. All right, this is the uh, final portion of this video. The next video will be a running video.